Honestly, she's always hated the way we grew up. She's always talked crap. And Ethan has, I really feel like he's absorbed all of that. And when you- And it's really knocked his confidence down. His he confidence. believes it now. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it's called? It's called brainwashing. Brainwashing. And that's what's happened to him. Olivia has said a bunch of things about my parents for years, and it's only gotten worse. It's got to the point where lies are being told. And I personally want to do my part in making things right. The thing with the credit card, that story that she told, the way I see that is she was using basically a made-up story to validate her big emotions. Mm -hmm. She has felt this way about our family, about you and dad, and she was like, I just have all this hate and anger that I'm spewing towards them, and I need to, I need to make myself feel valid. And that makes me so mad because I sat there by her side for years saying, you are valid. You can feel however you want to feel. That's okay. But I will not tolerate lies being told. I will not tolerate somebody just then going off the deep end saying, you know, like, you have every right not to like a person. That's okay. And you have every right to be like, oh, their values or their beliefs or whatever don't line up with mine and I don't want to associate with that. That's okay. But it's not okay to try and make the whole world or a whole family feel the same way. Well, it's, it's just relationally destructive. Yeah. You know, that approach really is, is very relationally And I see that now, and that's why I choose not to have a relationship with her anymore.